Hey, if you guys like these tutorials, please subscribe and click the bell if you want to get notified. Tons more tutorials coming up. All right, everyone, welcome back. Take a look at that Patreon link if you, uh, if you haven't already. Be hugely, hugely grateful for it. Let's get started right away. So we're going to do a little deform mesh. So if you are just clicking on this link and like haven't been following along with this tutorial series, it's really easy to follow along right here. Go ahead and jump into action and create two 3D keys. And then we'll show you how to do this, this deform mesh. If you have been following along, let's open up that sequence that you've been following along with and then uh, click on the, the text. Go to D for deform mesh. We're gonna connect that directly to that, cat, that text. It maps right onto there. Let's go and double click on deformation. Go into auto key. Just kind of zoom in a little bit here. Take a look at what's going on here. We're going to drop some keys onto here. Let's do this and this and this. This is actually going to be creating some keyframes to this static spot right here. Now we're going to go ahead and go a little bit. So I'm just advancing keys by doing the right arrow there. Let's go ahead and tweak this on in and then tweak that on in. It's going to do some weird stuff there. There we go. I'm going to go another keyframe, move that on up there. We'll go a couple more keyframes. Let's kind of zoom out a little bit. And that's where it's kind of out. So let's go ahead and just bring these on hugely weird. Okay, so that is distorting that first word. So it's going to be... Coming up to that, it's going to go on into our transitional element. It's tweaking around, doing some cool things. Now let's go ahead and click on this next word that we have up. Apply a deform mesh to it. Double click on it so it pulls up its parameters. Let's go ahead and do the same. Just kind of make a couple keyframes in here. And then this one, we're going to kind of tweak it in so it looks a little bit similar to that other one. Let's go ahead and just kind of do it like a little tweak in here, a tweak in here. So that's going to be where it starts off at. So there's our first keyframe for that. We're going to right click, advance to the next key. Let's go to the next one. I'm just kind of do this. And then let's just pull this like weird. Let's just kind of go crazy with it. And then the next one is going to be whoosh, and whoosh. The next one is going to be out. It's going to be where it comes back together. We're just going to kind of line up these keys to where they all belong. Let's see what this looks like. There we go. So now we have a nice little transitional element of that glow happening, and then it's tweaking around and doing some weird morphing between our elements there. There we go. It's kind of cool looking. So that's a deform mesh, and just kind of walking over this for uh, anybody who's just kind of happening to, to follow along this. What we did is we connected a light into the scene with some color correction. And that's what's kind of blooming this all out, is that color corrector connected to the light. That light being uh, light linked to these elements within the scene, That those elements being these 3D keys, that's blooming those. It's not blooming the background because it's not connected to that. It's not light linked to it. We tracked in our elements. We have a twitchy a little access that we created there to just kind of move it around the screen a bunch. And there we go. So that's a quick little uh, tutorial on deform mesh. Up next, we're going to do a little introduction to a uh, G mask in action to be able to give it, give these CGs kind of a, a drippy weirdness to them. Hey, don't forget about that Patreon account.
Go to Spotify, Apple Music, anything. Fade to Black. Check out my band. Hey guys, thanks so much for all the comments that you guys leave. Go ahead and leave some more. Let's talk about more editing styles. Um, some links to uh, to what inspires you. Let's talk about it.